You know, it's been a minute since I stared y'all in the face and just told you some truth for a second. So bear with me for the next 10 while I do that today. Welcome, ladies and gentlemen, to five reasons why you're not improving in Apex Legends. I know you want to get better. I know you're like me thinking, man, I can't really be as good as I was in season zero in season nine. I must have made some progress. And if you're looking at your stats, you're looking at your gameplay and, and God forbid you recorded it and saw it back. You might realize that no, I haven't improved. But today is your lucky day because we're going to talk about why you haven't improved in Apex yet and what you could do to get out of that rut. Plus, we're going to follow this video up with a few other videos in this series that's going to talk about how to improve, how to double your potential in Apex Legends, how to increase your kills, increase your win rate, and ultimately become a better player. Because so many of you on TikTok, on Twitter, on Instagram, and on YouTube at Rain Day Gaming are asking me this question. I don't know why you guys keep asking me. I suck. No, I'm just playing. The first reason you're not improving in Apex Legends is because you're doing the same thing over and over again and expecting a different result. This is the definition of insanity. People call it that for a reason because there's no way you're going to get a different result in your life if you keep doing the same things that are getting that result. It's like cooking a steak. If you keep cooking a steak at eight and you keep burning it, you might have to turn the heat down to about five or put it in for less time. But if you keep doing it at eight, keep burning it, keep doing it, keep burning it. You're never going to have a happy customer who's eating that steak that isn't burned. Same thing when it comes to Apex Legends. If you keep making the same mistakes, like rushing into an enemy when you're clearly not protected by your teammates following up on you, maybe you don't communicate enough so no one knows what you're doing and you're always a little bit of a rogue when it comes to teamwork and communication. Maybe you just can't hit your shots with a weapon that has been meta for several seasons, like an R301 or an R99, and there's nothing that you've done to change that situation. Whatever it is, realize that whether you are improving or not has to do with the things that you're doing. So if you're not improving, you need to change your current actions. I can't tell you what those actions are, but just like in life, you cannot keep banging your head over and over again at the same thing. Take a step back. Look at yourself. Maybe there's something that you could acknowledge if you just took a break from the game for a moment and really had an honest conversation with yourself or maybe with some friends as to why you don't feel you're in a position you should be in the game. Man, I just can't kill that dude. Have you tried shooting bullets at their body? Oh, I never thought about that. The good news about this is that once you change your actions, they will give you different results. They may not be exactly what you're looking for, but hopefully when you change your actions enough, like, hey, you're putting more time into the training range. Maybe you're practicing the R99, getting good at it. Now you can finally win some 1v1s with it when before you were hopeless. If you start to see those differences, you start using it more, you start winning more, you'll now know, okay, this is a better path than the one I was on, and I'm finally starting to see the dial move. That's all you need to know. Keep making changes and keep taking feedback along the way to say, is this the direction I want to go, or am I going in the direction I don't want to go that I've already been? Number two, the second reason that you're probably not improving in Apex Legends is because you're probably not challenging yourself enough. So we already established if you want to be better, you have to change your actions. But what we haven't talked about is what the actions you're doing may be limiting yourself in the potential growth that they have to offer. For instance, I go ahead and have a lemonade stand, right? And I'm selling lemonade. People come in and, yo, Rainer, give me that lemonade, bro. Your lemonade is crazy. Yo, Rainer got the best lemonade on the block. <laughs> that would be such a funny life situation. I'm just, I turn into this crazy lemonade salesman and like I become uber popular from that. It could work. Anyways, I'm selling the lemonade and I make $100 a day because I can only make so much lemonade and only so many people drive down my street. I might cap out at $1,000 a week from an incredible lemonade sale. So $4,000 a month is kind of where that would end. That might be what you're doing with Apex Legends. You might be going for layups or lemonade stands and maxed out. You might not be able to get better with a charge rifle at this point, and that's the only weapon that you use. You might not be able to be in the back seat of somebody else on your team driving where to go, what to do, making calls, taking the sky, uh, taking the jump master and, and leading you guys into the charge unless you start to make a difference. The second you decide to open up a second lemonade stand, hire employees, do something else to expand your reach and take a bigger risk, now you start to expand the potential earnings and income you can make. It's the same thing in Apex. If you start learning different weapons, if you start taking control, maybe you start communicating, in-game leading, maybe you take Jump Master every single time and you fail a bunch, but now you're starting to learn what it takes. Maybe you start initiating fights instead of being the third person into the fight every single time. These are the types of decisions that, yes, while they may have a short-term cost, 
the payoff and the benefit of getting good at those things is way higher than the little lemonade stand of play that we had talked about earlier. All you gotta do is watch Timmy or Asu play Apex Legends for about 10 minutes and you'll understand exactly what I'm talking about. They take charge of their games and it allows them to have this incredible expansive opportunity of getting 20 bombs, 30 bombs that most players could never get because they don't even try to play that way. When you challenge yourself, you are bound to fail, but you're also bound to succeed in the long run if you keep going. Number three, playing too much and you need a break. Randy, you're telling me right now that to play Apex Legends less is actually going to improve my skill and help me get out of a rut. Yeah, coming from my experience in life, sometimes taking a break is the best thing you can do to open up your awareness of what you need to do differently in order to succeed. As a soccer player growing up, I would always look forward to our off season. One of the reasons when at UCLA, I found myself excited about it was because every year I would take that time off, be traveling, working, doing different things, and come back to the field ready to play in a way where my body, my brain, and my thought process about the game had shifted. It had incorporated all that time off, all those new things that I experienced, and I started looking at the game and people differently. I also was a different person myself. Imagine yourself right now going up to your high school crush or your middle school crush or however far you need to go to be back to, to the point where you're like, me now, I would handle that totally differently. That's the thing that taking time off allows you to do. You develop as a person. You get out of just this box you're living in and in whatever habit you're continually doing, and you go, wait, hold on, I'm, I'm kind of cool. I know what I'm doing. Hey, this is a cool way to think about it. Oh, I've watched all these other players play. That's now what my mind thinks of when I think of Apex Legends gameplay, and not the slow and uh, unsuccessful style that I've been doing. And you take that and now you can apply it to your own game. Take it from me. I take a big break from YouTube around December and January. Everyone thinks I'm crazy because that's the biggest ad revenue money when everyone's running a lot of ads because people are buying a lot of stuff during the holidays. But I take a break to be with my family, have new experiences, and when I come back, I'm a totally different person. And I've grown my channel hundreds of thousands of subscribers starting in that January, February momentum two to three times just because I've taken that time off. I've got a new perspective. I know exactly what the box I put myself in prior and now I'm totally out of it and I can recognize my old mistakes a lot easier and move forward with just a new, clear, conscious way to approach it. So take a week, two weeks off. Maybe you need to reset and just come back with a fresh, excited mindset to be able to tackle those new challenges. Sometimes that's all it takes. We need to recharge our phones every day we need to recharge our bodies every day when we sleep why wouldn't we need to recharge from things like apex or general activities we need that as humans to take a break and then come back at it so maybe that's what you're missing a uh, number four you don't have clear goals of where you actually want to go yo, yo honey i want to go on a road trip where i don't know okay hey yo babe let's fly out of the country to what city I don't know. Good luck getting a plane ticket. If you're going to do anything like that, you got to have a starting destination and an ending destination for anything that's going to work. A plane isn't just going to fly in the air for a long enough time to find some place to land. It's going to run out of gas. A car will run out of gas as well. You need to find the destination. And that's what a lot of people don't do. They have this amorphous idea that I want to get better. But what does that mean? What do you want to get better at? Imagine if I said that in math or any actual skill, which Apex Legends is. I want to get better at math. What does that mean? Calculus? Algebra? Geometry? What math? What do you want to get better at? Like actually solving the problems? Understanding the formula or the theory behind it? What is the intent of you getting better? Because if you don't know, then how are you going to do the action that's going to get you better? But if you just play every gun in Apex Legends and you just pick up whatever, you just fight whenever and you want to improve, how are you supposed to know whether you're improving or not or have any market difference based on when you started or didn't? See, this is what I find a lot of creators and a lot of people struggle with, having concrete goals and looking to the future and then working it backwards to how they get to the result that they want. If you want to get better at the wingman, then that's going to identify every action you need to do to the days leading up for you to improve. I got to pick up more wingman. I got to practice with it. I got to understand the gun. 
I have to use the gun. I have to prioritize picking this gun up when I have other choices like an R301 or an R99. I gotta choose this gun again. I have to take more fights with this weapon. I might have to get more aggressive. I have to get up close. I have to basically, once you start doing all these things, you start to get better with the wingman. It's simple, but it's not easy. And a more important thing is if you don't know where you're landing, it's really hard to have the confidence to take off. Why would you start a journey if you don't know what the end result is? If you just wanna lose weight or you wanna get better at Apex or you wanna uh, have a wonderful life but you don't know what a wonderful life even means to you uh then you're gonna have trouble getting there because you're not gonna feel confident moving in any single direction if you know a wonderful life for you means huh, being an apex legends predator easily when i play it means having a girlfriend but not a wife i want to freestyle life where we don't have kids but we're traveling a lot i want to do a van life thing whatever that is if you get really specific it becomes a lot easier to track down the steps you need to take in order to get there a little more about this in the next video when we're talking about doubling your performance in apex legends but for now i think that's enough before we wrap things up getting into number five if you guys enjoyed this video so far and this style please let me know in the comment section below i thought it was a little more personable but also leave a like on the video and subscribe that's the best way for me to know you like what i'm doing and you want to see more of it and if you have any suggestions or ideas for tips videos in the future or just videos on my channel go ahead throw them at me number five the fifth and final reason my kings that you are not improving in apex legends you're not willing to think big picture and you want it now. Newsflash, for anyone who needs to know, you don't get great at anything immediately. You have to work, and especially if you're not good to start with, or you're not improving, or you haven't improved in a long time. It's going to take work. It's going to take you identifying your issues, being aware of where you want to go, visualizing those processes, letting go of habits that aren't working well for you, and then every single day, putting a little bit of effort in to get better trying to achieve those goals you've set out for yourself. My audience on Rain Day Gaming is amazing. It's a lot of fellas in here. We got some amazing ladies as well. And we even have some younger players, but I have a great audience in between 18 and 40 years old, predominantly men who I know are in this position in life where you want things, you're going for things in your life. I've been there, I'm 30. I've been in that process of trying to find a way to get everything that I wanna get in my life. And it has not been easy. But the one thing that I can tell you from life experience is that when you have the ability to move forward and understand that it's not just about today, it's about what will you be five years from now that today will help you achieve, then you can apply that not just to this game, but to your life as well. Do you want a house? Yeah, you're upset you can't have it now, so therefore you stop all those behaviors to get it. Well, in five years from now, if you had a house, would you be a happy guy? Would you be happy and set up in the way that you want? I'm sure you would. To break this down simply, I use something called the five years test. If Rain Day from five years from now has a goal and it's great in five years, I'm pretty sure I'd be willing to do whatever it takes every day in order to get that. Own a house in Italy. Cool, I'll do what it takes because in five years from now, if I could own a house in Italy, I'd be a happy guy. Oh, uh, you know, have uh, five, ten million million in the bank. Okay, I'll do whatever it takes because that's a worthwhile goal. If you're willing to have goals like that that allow you to say, yeah, I'll sacrifice the short term now for the long term gain I know I'm really looking for, that is how you improve and get what you want in life. It is not this quick, fast journey, but we think it is. And I'm a little concerned with people who have this idea that everything that I want should be here now. It's not how it works. I wish it was. Uh, trust me, I, I was 20 to 25 trying to figure my life out so much but it's the years 25 to 30 that i was able to plan plot move in a specific direction to be able to end up in a much better position than the earlier years when i just wanted it now if you understand that and you understand that big picture not only will you improve in apex legends because you'll say hey hey ray day six months from now if i practice my wingman every day and i do these things and i get this movement down and i watch these players he's gonna be a tremendous player he's gonna be predator no problem then that would be a worthwhile goal and that might be worthwhile for you but if you apply that to life too, hey, six months from now, I'm going to eat right, I'm going to get healthy, I'm going to do all this, and you're going to be looking great, feeling great, going out there, living your best life, feeling your best self, then heck, I think that's worth it for me, and I'm pretty sure it'd be worth it for you too. Life is a constant journey of self-discovery and self-improvement, and as long as you guys get down on that, you build a strong foundation today, then you're going to be where you want to be tomorrow thanks so much for watching guys hope you enjoyed the video never give up never stop gaming comment down below any tips you have as to why people or why you yourself have not improved and as always i'll see you all next time